Hey, what's up everyone? I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC coming at you with the rear brake return spring kit from Fast Company. So today I just want to share with you guys one of my personal favorite inexpensive upgrades for your motorcycle. And what it is, it's this rear brake return spring kit from Fast Company. Now what this does in a nutshell, it's going to take your rear brake from a tension spring system to a compression spring system and it's going to give you adjustability to really just to help you give a better feel with your rear brake. Now bikes when they come stock, they come with that tension spring system and I've actually got my old stock spring that I took off my Honda 450 here. So normally what happens is this is connected to the brake pedal and then it connects this little tab that's welded onto the frame. And so when you press down on the brake pedal, it just pulls on that spring and that's what's going to make your brake pedal return. The problem is, is that whatever tension you get with this spring that comes stock, that's just really what you're stuck with. You can't adjust it and a lot of riders complain about having a vague feeling with their rear brake. In other words, when you're pressing on the brake pedal, it's hard to feel how hard you're pressing and normally it's just an on or off type of feeling. Now if you own a KTM or a Husqvarna, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to say this is a must have. For whatever reason, the springs on those bikes are pretty wimpy. I just know a lot of guys break those. So this is going to, I'm going to say it's a must have. If you have that type of bike, go ahead and pick one of these up. It's going to save you some headache down the road. So there's three items that come included with the rear brake return spring kit. You're going to have your bucket, which is anodized built aluminum. You're going to have their compression spring and you're going to have their locking nut. And so all you're going to do is you're going to remove your stock components. It's very simple. Install really honestly takes about 10 minutes max. You're going to take your rear pet, your brake pedal off. You're going to remove your clevis, take off the locking nuts that you have on your push rod. Then all you're going to do is you're just going to take their spring. You're going to push it up into the master cylinder. You're going to screw on their bucket and then you're going to put the uh, locking nut on after that. Now once you've done that, you can either reuse your OEM uh, clevis or you can go with an aftermarket one. I've got the Fast Company installed here. I think it gives the bike a nice clean look. We've got these from other brands as well. But once you install that, the bucket and the spring, you're just going to screw on your clevis and then you're going to reinstall the brake pedal. Now what's cool about this, now I said earlier, it's going to give you adjustability. How it works is pretty simple. So your bucket and your spring, now what I can actually do is I can twist this bucket and I can put more preload on that spring. And what that does, it gives me a stiffer feel with my brake pedal. So you can twist that up and put as much compression on the spring as you want, or you can loosen it to have, to have it easier to press the brake pedal. Really, you're just going to play with that until you get the feeling that you want out of your brake pedal. And that's the adjustability that I was talking about. So there it is. That's, that's all it is. It's just going from a tension spring system to a compression spring system, but you're getting that adjustability. And if you want to adjust the height of your brake pedal, once you've done that, super easy. You just remove the brake pedal again, and by either loosening or tightening the clevis on that push rod, that will adjust the height of the brake, of the brake pedal. So that's it. That is the rear brake return spring kit from Fast Company. Again, in my opinion, one of the best upgrades for your motorcycle is right around 20 bucks. So it's not going to break the wallet. And if you are a KTM, a Husqvarna owner, I'm telling you right now, get rid of that wimpy spring, put this on. It's going to save you some headache down the road. So head over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com to check these out. Fast Company, these guys make a lot of cool products, so make sure you check those out as well. They are machine specific, so make sure when you're picking yours up to in, just enter the make the model of the year of the bike you're getting it for. That's going to make sure you get the right one. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like this product spotlight we just did today, you want to see more like it, click subscribe and you can check those all out. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails.